Turning now to the second ever Vulcan launch from our coast. Now, this is a critical test flight because if all goes well during a flight, United Launch Alliance could get certification for this rocket. And the long anticipated launch lit up the sky just before 7.30 this morning. And here's a view of that launch from Daytona Beach. This was taken by our very own Eric Sandoval. He posted this on the pennant page. But even though this site was pretty, there are still a lot of factors going into whether this will be deemed successful. News 6's Mark Lehman has more on what this could mean for the future of space. And lift off of the United Launch Alliance Vulcan rocket United Launch Alliance's Vulcan Centaur roaring into the sky from Canaveral Space Force Station early this morning. The second certification mission for the new methane-fueled rocket seemed to be going as planned, but about 37 seconds into the flight, there was an issue with one of the two solid rocket boosters. We have two good BE4. Here's another look. Sparks and debris were seen falling away as Vulcan continued climbing into orbit. ULA CEO Tori Bruno speaking about the anomaly. We did, however, have an observation on SRB number one, and so we will be off looking into that after the mission is complete. Other than that, the, uh, the flight was nominal. The boosters were able to separate and the flight carried on as planned. Those watching from the ground in Titusville were unaware of an issue. After a couple technical delays, they witnessed a stunning liftoff right at dawn's first light. What do you think of the launch? Oh, it was spectacular. It was far more than I expected and the sun coming up right at the end of it, it really made it got some good shots. We're a little bit worried with all the delays, but I've got to admit it was spectacular. The end result was fabulous. ULA wants to get this rocket certified so it can officially take over for the retiring Atlas V and Delta IV rockets. The timing is also important because ULA wants to launch two Vulcan Centaur missions by the end of the year. What's unclear is what kind of impact today's issue will have on certification. Much more is expected to be learned as mission managers review post-flight data. In Brevard County, Mark Lehman, Getting Results, News 6.